Jennifer's got her list. She shops Target. She saves money. But she also expects her multigrain sun chips to unite the family. She expects her Viva paper towels to save face. Her odor fighting tidy cats to make her lover a cat lover. And her market pantry juice to create peace on earth. And her favorite store to give back to her favorite causes. So she shops Target, where she can expect more and pay less. Undefeated professional boxer Floyd Bunny Mayweather has the fastest hands boxing has ever seen. So I've come to this ring to see who's faster on the internet. I'll be using the 3G AT&T laptop connect card. He won't. So I can browse the web faster, email business plans faster, all on the go. I'm Bill Curtis, and I'm faster than Floyd Mayweather. Switch to the nation's fastest 3G network and get the AT&T laptop connect card for free. The Late Show's all new with Tom Arnold, plus a top ten with Dave's mom tonight. the way it is. A legend in the news business has died. We have a look back at the life of Walter Cronkite. Record unemployment in our state. People are hurting, but those who can make a change are finding bright spots in the dismal job outlook. And a wildlife mystery on the coast of California. Six seal and sea lion pups are washing ashore, but no one seems to know what's wrong. Now, your number one 11 p.m. newscast, Channel 8 Eyewitness News in HD. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Well, today, a legend in journalism died. Walter Cronkite passed away at 92. Now, Cronkite pretty much invented the job of news anchor, heading up the CBS News broadcast from 1962 to 1981. Americans heard the bad news and the good from Cronkite, from the assassination of President Kennedy to the moon landing 40 years ago. Both those occasions brought out the emotion in the usually cool and calm Cronkite. CBS News correspondent Drew Levinson is reporting live in New York with more on Walter Cronkite, who was often called the most trusted man in America. Those of us in the baby boomer generation grew up with him. Sure. Drew. For nearly two decades, Walter Cronkite was the face of the CBS News. In fact, he was the anchor of the CBS Evening News and the anchor of that show right here in this building. He became the most trusted man in America. Cronkite died tonight of a long illness at his home. He was 92 years old. When America heard the old teletypes, they knew it was time for the news. This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. Walter Cronkite brought the world and beyond into our living rooms. Tension is mounting here at Cape Canaveral. Man on the moon. Oh, boy. Thank you. <laughs> For nearly two decades, he was the anchorman, giving history its narrative. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time some 38 minutes ago. Because of his professionalism and gentle demeanor, viewers looked at him as one of the family. He was nicknamed Uncle Walter and called the most trusted man in America. His nightly clothes was legendary. And that's the way it is. And that's the way it is, Tuesday, February 17th, 1981. An avid sailor, Cronkite was born November 4th, 1916. He and wife Betsy were married for 65 years until her death in 2005. They had three children. Covering the occupation of North Africa. A former United Press war correspondent and Moscow bureau chief, Cronkite joined CBS in 1950 when television was still in its infancy. Walter Cronkite and television grew in stature together. In fact, when television came to Sweden, the verb invented to describe anchoring was to Cronkite. Tonight, Cronkite delivered the CBS Evening News more than 3,500 times, steering it as it grew from a basic 15-minute black and white program to a world-encompassing half-hour news broadcast, a broadcast that mirrored the events of the times. The auto company said it is recalling full-size Chevrolets. He scrupulously avoided offering opinions on camera, but Cronkite condemned U.S. involvement in Vietnam. 
Florida. But it is increasingly clear to this reporter that the only rational way out then will be to negotiate, not as victors, but as an honorable people who lived up to their pledge to defend democracy and did the best they could. Lyndon Johnson observed, if we've lost Cronkite, we've lost the country. Cronkite was also a rock in turbulent times. The body of Dr. Martin Luther King was returned to his home in Atlanta today. But don't push me, take your hands off of me unless you're implanted or arrest me. I think we've got a bunch of thugs here, Dan. President Ford took office two hours after Richard Nixon departed from the White House, leaving behind a letter of resignation to be submitted while he was airborne for San Clemente. In 1981, he retired, handing the reins over to Dan Rather. This is my last broadcast as the anchor man of the CBS Evening News. For me, it's a moment for which I long have planned, but which nevertheless comes with some sadness. That same year, President Jimmy Carter presented Cronkite the Medal of Freedom. In one of his last contributions to CBS News, Cronkite lent his voice to today's broadcast. This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. No matter how many people occupy that chair, Walter Cronkite will always be viewed as the one who made it comfortable. Old anchormen, you see, don't fade away. They just keep coming back for more. And that's the way it is. Friday, March 6th, 1981. I'll be away on assignment, and Dan Rather will be sitting in here for the next few years. Good night. Cronkite's family was at his side when he died tonight. Again, the most trusted man in America, Walter Cronkite, dead at 92. Live in New York, I'm Drew Levinson. Now back to you. Hi, Drew. A local man knew Cronkite personally. Fred Lewis is former news director here at Channel 8. He knew Cronkite and talked with him often. A few days ago, he spoke with him and told us that the legendary broadcaster sounded weak. And tonight, Lewis told us that Cronkite was what everyone in the news business aspired to be. It was from then on, he set the pattern. I mean, he was, he was uh, the model for what a, news, a good news anchor would be. And I think every news anchor, uh, by that time, I was anchoring at some local stations. And uh, I know that uh, by that time, we were all kind of trying to be a little bit uh, like uh, Walter Cronkite. And as we've heard to this day, news anchors in several countries are called Cronkiteers. Mm. CBS News will have a special primetime tribute to Cronkite this Sunday at 7 o'clock. That's the way it was. Remembering Walter Cronkite will feature interviews from news luminaries such as Mike Wallace, Morley Safer, and Ted Cobble. Mm. Nevada unemployment hit another record. The statewide jobless rate stands at 12 percent, the highest since the state began keeping records. And it means 170,000 Nevadans cannot find work. Here in Clark County, unemployment is at 12.3 percent. But workers who can change fields are finding industries where job growth exists, including education and health care. Eyewitness News is live. Amanda Hernandez joins us with a look at some Nevadans who are changing their life's work. Amanda. Well, the Pima Medical Institute has been flooded with new students, people who until recently worked in construction, real estate, even as hairdressers, but now they say they're looking for a career that can give them more security. The medical field is not for the faint of heart, but if you're willing to put yourself out there and open your mind to the possibilities, it could be your best bet for employment in the struggling market. Everyone else is scared about the recession and we pretty much have it good. Trust in the fact that everyone gets sick sometime is what's leading many here to Pima Medical Institute. I looked at the job market and I saw that the healthcare medical professions were the only jobs listed in the newspapers. Priscilla Zuniga used to be a manager with a construction company and she thought she found a career for life. Very happy until they stopped constructing homes. So then I was laid off in January and kind of left to figure something else out. With programs that run from eight months to 18 months, changing careers into the medical field can be a fast way to get back to work. It's really targeted towards those people who, who have to, you know, juggle home life and part-time jobs and whatnot. And it really does gear us for to be ready, like I said. The medical field is one of only two professions that's seen an increase in hiring over the past year. And administrators here say that's no surprise. And we're living longer and people are aging and the older you get the more health care you need and no matter what happens in the job market 
we're still going to need health care. Pima students have about an 80% placement rate after graduation, but beyond that, they say they finally feel secure in their profession. Someone's always getting hurt, someone's always sick. Pima Medical Institute says even with the influx of students, they are limiting their graduating numbers because they don't want to flood the market and they do want to make sure there are jobs still out there. And of course, they want to make sure that all their graduates are well trained. For now, we're reporting live, Amanda Hernandez, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Amanda, what kind of, what kind of jobs do they train for? Well, Paula, they offer quite a wide variety. They cover the whole spectrum, kind of the medical community, everything from radiology to dental assistants to even veterinary technicians. And, of course, they say that you can get everything you need right here. Paula. Thanks, Amanda. So much of our state is directly or indirectly tied to tourism, and our fortunes rise and fall with the numbers of visitors and the amount they spend. Today, McCarran Airport announced a drop in the number of passengers this June compared with June of last year. Airport officials say the number of passengers dropped 11% from last year. One major airline, though, had an increase. American Airlines had 4.5% more passengers. But the biggest airline at McCarran, Southwest, saw a 5% drop. Well, they say they were hired to promote a show, and they did that, but now they're still waiting to be paid. A group of about 20 say they worked for more than two weeks promoting Rockstar the Tribute at Steve Wyrick Theater at Planet Hollywood. The show has since been canceled after opening earlier this month, and now the group says they're out hundreds of dollars, and they're looking for some answers. The band got paid last night, the dancers got paid last night, and I guess they figured we'd all shrivel up and crawl away, but we're not. We want to get paid. So we called the company which hired the group but have yet to hear back from them. Meantime, officials with Planet Hollywood say that they're aware of the issue. They say they couldn't comment because they only rented out the theater for the show but are not really affiliated. Mm. Well, the heat has taken a toll on a lot of people, yeah. but so far there is no break ahead. The heat warning has been mm. extended. We're going to find out the real details on the severe heat with Darren Miller right now. All right, thanks a lot. And today was uh, we're wrapping up the hottest day of the year so far. We topped that at 112 degrees. And uh, the question is, is how much hotter is it going to get? Well, we think it's going to be even hotter tomorrow. And that's why this heat warning, this excessive heat warning, has been extended until Sunday at 8 o'clock. So we've got it in effect tonight. We'll have all day tomorrow and into Sunday because once again we think we're going to be up near 113, 114 tomorrow and the same on Sunday. It's hot outside right now. Take a look at some of these current temperatures. Right now you can see East Flamingo still at 100 degrees. Uh, Pebble near Wigwam at 97. Anthem at 96 degrees. So this is much warmer than it should be. El Dorado at 101. You can see down the South Sahara and 15 at 97 degrees and Lake Mita Decatur at 95. Uh, stick around for the seven day forecast. We'll tell you it's going to cool down or not and we'll take a look at some of the heat precautions to get you through this heat wave coming in a few minutes. Paul back to you for right now. Thanks Darren. A concerned neighbor contacted Eyewitness News about a friend who's suffering without AC. Sandy Smith called us because her neighbor Jose Jesus Sanchez lost power to his condo two weeks ago after an electrical fire damaged a circuit breaker panel. Smith says Sanchez and his roommates have been really suffering in the triple digit heat. City code enforcement says electricity Electricity and air conditioning are considered essential when it's this hot. We are in a heat warning right now, so this is a life safety issue when they don't have air conditioning or power, so we want to take care of it right away. The circuit box is on the outside of the condo, so the community's HOA has the responsibility of fixing it. Someone with the HOA told us they had to order a special part from out of state, which is the reason for the delay. The city says it's unsafe for Sanchez and his roommates to live in the condo, so until it gets fixed, officials are moving them into a safe place. Well, not everyone is coping all that well with the no. heat, and that has emergency crews working overtime to take care of people who are suffering in the extreme temperatures. They're getting hundreds of calls a day. Some are just dehydrated and need to drink water. Others are in severe heat exhaustion. Uh, you're looking at a lot more uh, call volume, a lot more calls going down with heat-related injuries. So sleep, uh, you look at average maybe two hours a night if, if you're fortunate. Hmm. Save yourself a trip to the hospital. Make sure you're drinking lots of water, even if you don't seem to be thirsty. And stay away from caffeinated and sugary drinks. There are ways to stay cool in the heat. In fact, a company in Phoenix is marketing a fabric they claim will keep you cool. The fabric is coated with a chemical that cools down when it gets wet and that it has a very slow evaporation rate. The makers of the fabric say it can cool down a body 30 to 40 degrees. 
One bandana made out of the material for construction workers can stay cold for six hours. The swine flu took another life in the valley. The Southern Nevada Health District says the 47-year-old man had underlying medical conditions. He died this morning. Three new H1N1 confirmed patients are hospitalized with severe illness. In all, Clark County has 145 new cases, and the health district expects more deaths, which is normal as with seasonal influenza. The best way to protect yourself and stop the spread of the virus is to wash your hands often and stay home when you are sick. Metro Police thanks several tipsters who have brought them close to finding the vandals who defaced the famous Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. Earlier this week, taggers wrote their initials on the sign and on the posts holding it up. Metro received numerous tips. Because of the high profile nature of this case, we've got a lot of calls from citizens. We've got a lot of calls from people both in state and out of state. We've got a lot of tips. Police say they have three persons of interest in the case. They're all juveniles. The sign was cleaned up quickly after the vandalism. Las Vegas has been named one of the most undervalued places to live. That by U.S. News & World Report. The list ranks the best markets for potential home buyers to find great bargains. First on the list, Houston, followed by Sarasota, Florida. Las Vegas ranked number three on that list. The median price of a home in our valley is now at $140,000, which researchers for this article consider a 41% underpriced. The list was compiled using data on home prices, employment, quality of life, and some other research. Now, the cheaper home prices in our valley are actually cutting into the apartment business. The occupancy rate for apartments in our valley was at 90% in the second quarter of the year. Now, that's down from 92% the same time last year. The numbers also show that rent has gone down. Take a look at this. The average rent was uh, $857 for the second quarter of the year. Compare that to $891 the same time last year. Experts with applied analysis came up with those numbers. They also say that the bad job, mar job market and the dropping home prices have weakened the demand for apartments. Nevada's getting some more money for its bus systems. The Department of Transportation said today that our state would be getting more than $5 million to improve transit systems. Nearly $2 million will be coming to Clark County to pay for four projects, including new buses, new bus shelters, and a fueling station. A tour bus caught fire in Southern California and the flames hopped onto a hillside. The Amtrak tour bus was in the northbound lanes near Castaic. Nine passengers and the driver got off safely with all their luggage. Flames destroyed the bus and the fire, whipped up by winds, spread to a hill beside the interstate. Firefighters were already fighting a 45-acre wildfire nearby and they diverted to put this one out. I-5 was closed while the bus and the hillside burned. Teens turn up at doctor's offices these days complaining of thumb pain. They've given themselves tendonitis from too much texting. 13-year-old Bailey Baker sends 200 text messages a day. Last month, she hit a high of 8,000. That's when pain set in. Just mainly back and neck problems and thumb numbness, and it hurts. What I tell them is, hey, you might be normal now, but when you're 40 or 50, you can get arthritis. Dr. Sadler expects a boom in thumb joint replacements over the next several decades. She recommends limiting texting to 50 a day and maintaining good posture when you do it. Hmm. Well, there's a mystery going on along the coast of California. Wildlife experts are alarmed by the number of sick and starving sea lions and seal pups they're finding. The animals are beaching themselves this summer, and as Terry Okita reports, scientists aren't really sure why. They're swimming in seals and sea lions at the Pacific Marine Mammal Center in Laguna Beach. The center has a record number of six sea lions, up more than 130% in a year. Elephant and harbor seal numbers are also alarming, so they've gone into emergency mode here. Not seen anything anywhere near this bad. Many of these rescued pups and yearlings suffer from moderate to severe starvation. Some also have wounds from other animals, hooks, or motor blades. They nicknamed this guy Indiana Jones. He got a little wound here that's healed up. His eye, he got bit in the eye. Oh. Wildlife biologists say the uptake in ailing, malnourished animals 
could be from a combination of things, including lack of food and climate change. Scientists believe a possible El Nino weather pattern in the Pacific could be pushing bait fish too far out to sea. The sick and hungry animals then end up beaching themselves. All their food right here, big herring. Staff and volunteers are spending a record amount of time and money in fish food to help keep these animals alive. But in this economy, they say times are tough. You're here to help them, and you just got to see them through their plight and get them back home again. With the perfect storm of unpredictable weather and a bad economy, staff members don't know when the problem will ease up. They just continue, as best they can, to rescue, rehabilitate, and hopefully release these creatures back into the sea. Terry Okita, CBS News, Laguna Beach. If you'd like more information on how to save these marine mammals, contact the Pacific Marine Mammal Center. We've provided a link from our website, lasvegasnow.com, keyword animals. Karaoke party was held tonight in Las Vegas. Uh, not just any karaoke party. It's part of a cross-country tour of what's being called Woofyoke. A group of friends decided about four months ago to put the tour together. They're going from coast to coast, start out in San Francisco, going from coast to coast to the tricked-out Winnebago with all the karaoke equipment on board, but they're trying to organize and promote the tour using social networking and online communities. It's an interesting experiment. It's trying to make this a real multimedia broadcast event, so we're doing as much live streaming as we can. We're Twittering, we're blogging, we're posting photos along the way. Now they call it woofyoke. I guess that's a take off the word karaoke, and, and the woofy part re refers to a, a person's uh, network profile on social networking. All right. Um, now I got a tip on the story through Twitter, by the way, and you can follow us all on Twitter. My particular uh, personality on Twitter is GR8 Anchor. Get it? Great anchor. Mm -hmm. Paula's is Paula Francis 8. <laughs> and if you check out our website, you'll see all the names of all the folks twittering at Channel that's 8. Right. We're all doing it now. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. had no well, idea that's what Whoopi meant. I thought yeah. it was for dogs. I think it's in their case. <laughs> I know, we too. <laughs> I think they made it up, actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's talk Brace about this ourselves heat. for tomorrow. Brace ourselves oh. once again for tomorrow. And remember, uh, 19 heat-related deaths last year in Las Vegas. And that Ooh. was number two in the U.S. So uh, very important as we get ready for another very hot sizzling day the high today topped out at 112 we think tomorrow will be warmer just as warm on sunday and then finally maybe a little bit cooler as we get towards monday and late next week uh, outside tonight uh, very warm I mean, temperatures for the most part in the upper 90s near the triple digit mark here it is a little after 11 o'clock so el dorado you're at 101 mount vista at 100 degrees uh, seven hills at 95 you can see west charleston in the upper 90s it's cooler in the mountains tonopah Paul and Caliente at 81, uh, Overton at 96, Lake Mead still 10 degrees warmer at 106, uh, Prim, you're at 90, you can see the current temperature in Boulder City at 100, and Searchlight at 96 degrees. The official high here is now the warmest day of the year. Uh, it had been 111, which was yesterday, so now 112 replaces that. The average high is 105 degrees, and that's the concern really is not so much that it's hot, but it's about seven, eight degrees warmer than it should be this time of year. Take a look at the uh, the uh, excessive heat warning that we have in effect for tomorrow and the last into Sunday. First of all, take a look at some of the heat precautions. Keep cool, uh, stay hydrated, uh, make sure you eat light meals, make sure you check on the elderly, bring the pets inside, and no pets or kids inside the car. Okay, here's a look at that excessive heat warning that's in effect tonight, tomorrow, all day Sunday until 8 o'clock for all these areas here shaded in the orange, southern Nye County, western Clark, southern Clark County, eastern Clark County, because, once again, we're forecasting a high tomorrow at 113 degrees. Here's a look at the radar, and pretty quiet. There's a couple of thunderstorms up towards the northeast. For the most part, pretty quiet back towards Oklahoma City, a couple of thunderstorms. So it's not just us that are really baking. It's really a good portion of the western half of the nation. Look at this. 10 degrees warmer in Seattle than it should be. Really 10 degrees warmer in Salt Lake City down to Arizona. And we're just baking here uh, with temperatures 10 degrees warmer than they should be. Look at some of these highs tomorrow. If you're heading to Seattle, a high of 84. 113 for Vegas. 114 for Phoenix. Uh, much cooler in Chicago at 71, but you head down toward the south. Dallas will be in the upper 90s tomorrow. Uh, Miami at 94. So tonight we're only going to get down to 88 degrees. The forecast for tomorrow sizzling hot 
113 degrees, the average high at 105, so much warmer than it should be. And take a look at the 70 forecast, just as warm on Sunday, and a little bit cooler Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Be very careful tomorrow. We're going to be in that heat warning until Sunday at 8 o'clock. Have a good weekend. Back to uh, Dave and Paul for now. There it is. All right, thanks, Darren. We have a connection with New York, so we can say this. Why would, why would Wink want to be with the Knicks? Well, it's starting to look like that would be the good school of thought. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Coming up next in sports, Wink Adams cannot get off the Knicks bench at the Summer League, yet the Knicks can't get in the win column. Another long day for the former Rebel. And it's going to be a long month for Tiger Woods until the PGA Championship. His latest quest for major number 15 has come to an early end. Channel 8 Eyewitness News, back after this. value of a Range Rover Sport easily handles the ups and downs of sand, mud, and the economy. Range Rover Sport, the luxury that's more than a luxury. These are the faces of childhood cancer. But thanks to Alex's Lemonade Stand, every day brings new hope. At age four, Alexandra Scott opened a lemonade stand to make money for cancer research. By the time she passed away four years later, she had helped raise a million dollars. Help us fight childhood cancer. Make a donation to Alex's Lemonade Stand at your nearest Big O Tire store. Here for the pineapple upside down pancakes. Hawaiian pancakes at IHOP. Three mouth-watering tropical pancake creations served with all your favorites starting at $4.99. IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. For dinner, too. The Dodge Summer Clearance is here, and it's the best time to get some of the best deals of the season. Get in now and grab the hard-working all-new Dodge Ram 1500 with $2,000 cash allowance. Or take home America's best-selling minivan, the Dodge Grand Caravan, with $2,000 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months. Each one is backed with the confidence of our best-in-the-business lifetime powertrain warranty with unlimited miles. So hurry, come see the deals we've built for you at the Dodge Summer Clearance. If we don't act, medical bills will wipe out their savings. If we don't act, she'll be denied coverage because of a pre-existing condition and he won't get the chemotherapy he needs. If we don't act, health care costs will rise 70%, and he'll have to cut benefits for his employees. But we can act. The President and Congress have a plan to lower your costs and stop denials for pre-existing conditions. It's time to act. Shop the final days of Walker's triple bonus sale and get an 8.1% discount equal to the sales tax or free financing for one year and the $25 Walker gift card. Buy this five-piece dining group for $10.99 and get the China cabinet for free. The official $5 combo of summer is here. Featuring Arby's new barbecue bacon cheddar roast burger with curly fries and a drink for only $5. It's the $5 combo done better. This portion of Eyewitness News in HD is brought to you by Southern Nevada Nissan Alliance. The Dodgers started the season's second half with a home loss on Thursday. Manny Ramirez's second home game since that suspension wasn't much better. Miguel Tejada gets the run parade started for the Astros with a solo home run in the first. This is not a good night for Chad Billingsley. The Dodger pitcher gave up nine hits and six runs in one and two-thirds innings. Didn't even make it out of the second. The Dodgers hammered it home. 8-1 tonight's final. 51's Tacoma at Cashman Field. Scoreless game. Thomas Prentice for Redman takes care of that. Takes Brian Bress out to left center field. Solo home run, one nothing Rainiers. So Tacoma evens this series with a 6-3 win tonight. Same two tomorrow at 7. You know you're good when two major league teams retire your jersey number. Las Vegas Greg Maddox must have been pretty good. So Maddox was in Atlanta tonight where the Braves retired as number 31. The Mad Dog spent 11 of his 23 big league seasons with Atlanta, winning three Cy Young Awards, 10 Gold Gloves, and the World Series in 1995. Earlier this season, the Cubs honored Maddox in the very same manner. Spinal cord surgery performed on former running Rebels coach Jerry Tarkane has reportedly been a success. He is resting in the ICU of San Diego's Scripps Hospital. Wink Adams and the Knicks taking on the Kings at Cox Pavilion today. NBA Summer League continues. New York's third game of the league. 
Wink didn't get off the bench again, and again, the Knicks were drilled in summer play. The dunk from Tyreek Evans, the third overall pick there. Here's Dante Green of Syracuse. Good day for the Maloof brothers in town to watch their team win by 13. 59-year-old Tom Watson had a chance to steal the show at the British Open, but Tiger did that all on his own, and not for the usual reasons. Tiger looked extraordinarily ordinary today, pulling this tee shot right into the high grass on the 10th. Spotters couldn't find the ball. He had to hit a, hit a provisional. Wood shot a 4 over 74, finished 5 over, just good enough to miss the cut. There he goes. Fifth time in his career that's happened. So the story becomes 59-year-old Watson, who closed on 16 and 18 in magical fashion. Ridiculous birdie on 16 to move within one of the lead. And then on 18, the lead. for a share of the lead, going into the weekend, Are you serious? Tom Watson, Tom Steve Watson Marino, they're at 5 under. Born. So how about that? That's a pro. 59 <laughs> years old. <laughs> love it. He's won five of these, so he knows I how to do it. I love it. That's great. But still, what a great weekend we're yeah, in store so cool. for. We yeah. wish Tark the best. Yes. Yeah. Apparently doing well. Okay. Thanks. You're right. right back. A makeup artist thought she had a client, but instead was swindled by an online scam. She sent me pictures of everything. A victim reveals the new ploy to the IT. She owes me the money, and there's no way that I can get it. The Clever Cons aimed at you, Monday at 11. <laughs> best for my husband. I want the best for my son. I want the best for my friend. Choosing the right hospital is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make. I want the hospital that healed mom's heart. I want the hospital that gave dad his new knee. Choose the hospital that has cared for local families for over 50 years. I want the best for my daughter. I want the best for my little brother. Choose North Vista Hospital. It's time to advance your life at Acura of Las Vegas. Log on to LasVegasAcura.com to browse our entire inventory. Right now, get the sporty 09 Acura TSX for just $2.99 per month. Get an 09 Acura TL for only $3.99 per month. Or an 09 Acura RDX SUV, also $3.99 per month. From Henderson to the Northwest, Acura of Las Vegas can help you advance your life. The moment it happened, I knew there was something wrong because everything went numb and I couldn't get up. Chris was severely injured and buried in medical bills. He needed real help and we got it for him. If you've been injured, don't get buried in bills. Call us today. They helped me pay my home off two days before it was going to be foreclosed on. Me and my wife would have been out on the streets with nothing if it hadn't been for Tennyson Haight. They stepped up. Call Hennison Haight, 862-8200. These days, you want to be sure you're getting the best car for your money. And guess what? Toyota has won more Best Car for the Money awards than any other car manufacturer. And if you think you can't get a great deal right now, well, you can with Toyota. Now get $1,000 cash back on a versatile Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Or get $500 cash back or $239 a month lease on a fun-to-drive RAV4. Where can you find the best car for your money? Your Toyota dealer. Don't press your luck. Steer clear of flood water. It's our news at 11. We're on 24-7 at LasVegasNow.com. Dave Letterman is next, and then Paris Hilton is on Craig Ferguson. Stay up. Closed captioning of Eyewitness News is brought to you by Spring Valley Hospital's 6th Annual Summer Health Fair, July 25th. Visit iChooseSpringValleyHospital.com for more information. Kobach. Mr. Miller. Everyone's heading to Arby's for the official $5 combo of summer. Featuring Arby's new barbecue bacon cheddar roast burger with curly fries and a drink for only $5. Big on barbecue taste, it's the $5 combo done better. During the Autobahn for All event, you can get great lease deals. I love it. I just want to know it's the right move. Me? 
13 days in the future. You get a deal on a car you've always wanted, scheduled maintenance is included, it's all good. What's the future like? You love your new Jetta. And the suit? You like it? No, oh, I love it. Now during the Autobahn for All event, lease a 2009 Jetta S for just $179 a month. Hurry in before your future Volkswagen is history. Dave's house for a week. <laughs> With his cousin Alex. Uh, I hope he's cool. Hi, I'm Alex. Why, hello, Alex. You can never have too much good stuff. AM, PM, too much good stuff. Get a free 44-ounce drink with any two hot food items. What if we stripped away the $13 billion insurance company profits, the $119 million CEO bonuses, the endless denials, the soaring co-pays and premiums? You'd have health care between you and your doctor. That's the president's plan. Keep the coverage you have now or choose from a range of plans, including a public health insurance option to lower costs and keep insurance companies honest. That's what Senator Reid is fighting for. Call Harry Reid and tell him to keep up the good work. It's your health. It should be your choice. Still think you can get a deal on a repossessed home? Hello? No warranty, teaser pricing, multiple offers? That's a good deal? It's the repo myth, baby. Visit us at DR Horton. Our value is authentic. With prices and incentives. That bury the repo myth. Visit me at the repo myth sale. Or visit online at repomyth.com. Say it with us, Las Vegas! No, no more dirty old repos! repos. There's a better way to get news on the go, anywhere, anytime, on your mobile. LasVegasNow.com, Southern Nevada's homepage. The I-Team reveals a new twist on an old con, Monday at 11. Congratulations to The Late Show, Emmy-nominated for Outstanding Variety.